Now that you know how to set up a payment plan template, let's go over adding one on an invoice. From the drop-down, select the payment plan you'd like to apply. You'll see the amounts due automatically populate. Note that if you have due dates based on the project date, but no project date set, you'll see the formula for the trigger display. Those dates will fill in as soon as a project date is set. If you made special arrangements with a client and need to adjust the dates or amounts from the template, you can do so by clicking on the installment you'd like to adjust. Just like any other Dubsado template, once a payment plan is applied to an invoice, you can make changes here without affecting your master template. This also means that you are free to delete old payment plans you no longer use without affecting existing invoices. We'll wrap up this lesson on payment plans here, but you will learn more about using them with recurring invoices, proposals, and workflows later in the course. Here's a tip. As long as you are using due dates based on the project date, updating the project date will automatically update your payment plan template. If you notice that payments are being marked as overdue before the client can even see the invoice, double check when the payment plan is being applied to the invoice and adjust accordingly. Technically, proposals and workflows apply the payment plan as soon as they are added to the project. This could cause confusion if your workflow is set to send the client a proposal one week from now, but the payment plan connected to that workflow has an installment that's due zero days after payment plan is applied to invoice. This particular combination would result in the first installment being marked as past due before the client even receives the invoice.